Hey guys, today I'm going to be brewing the Cooper's Stout kit that I talked about the other day. Um, so it's going to be a double strength kit um, with the extra chocolate uh, additions that I showed in the last video. And on top of that I'm going to be adding some raspberries. Um, so what I'll do now is I'll cut over to the uh, footage from the brew and uh, we'll catch you next time. Okay, cheers. So in there is the Cooper's Stout kit. Um, I added a couple of litres of water, so I brought that up to the boil and I added 60 grams of unsweetened cocoa powder um, I also decided to add um, some lactose as well um, so 100 grams of lactose and I'm just about to add in the raspberries I decided to go with 300 grams, this is going to be uh, like a half batch um, so 300 grams, I'm just going to put that in now. Come on. So that's the raspberries. So what I thought I'd do, yeah, like I say, I've taken off the heat. I'm going to mash those in, but just for the potato masher and I'll just leave them in there probably for about 15 minutes just to uh, get the flavour out of the raspberries so yeah so I'll just mash that up um, and then what I'll do is when I put it into the fermenter I'll put it through a sieve just to catch any um, lumps and pips etc. So yeah, so that's it there. Um, here's the cocoa nibs, so I'm going to add those to the fermenter and some muslin. Uh, it's 15 grams um, going into this um, nine, I think I'll make the batch up to nine and a quarter litres. Um, yeah, so this is straight from the cocoa bean just crunched up a bit, so yeah. That should give the stout a nice chocolatey note. So I've just strained everything into the fermenter. So what's left behind in the sieve is all the um, seeds from the raspberries and all the uh, pulp. Okay, so everything's in the fermenter. I'm just giving it a good uh, aerate with the old spoon. Um, Looking very nice on the top. Um, so I've taken it up to nine, just under, just over nine litres. That'll give me 11 750ml bottles, leaving a little bit of trub in the bottom. And just, yeah, managed to get the temperature down to 25, so that's good. So I'll pitch the yeast shortly. Uh, I've just done a hydrometer reading. Um, Quite surprised it's come out as near as damn it to 1070. I'll have to adjust that slightly because the the liquid was at 25 degrees Celsius, so I don't know whether it'll bring it up or down. Um, yeah, so it's a bit higher than what I thought it would be. Um, I think the lactose might have um, will bring the original gravity up as well because um, that's non-fermentable so yeah so yep I'm just about done I'll put the nibs like I say in the muslin um, and then I'll pitch the yeast I'm going to use uh, I've got half a packet of USO5 ale yeast so I'll use that in there and that will be it and then mm, I'll leave it for probably 10 days or so, or up to two weeks, and um, should be ready to uh, ready to bottle. Okay, guys, thanks for watching.